it's Flapstaff, and today... What are you doing? I'm just making an intro for the video. Okay, but why? Because you said you were stressed and had a lot of stuff to do. So, I want to help. Aw, well that's really nice of you. Ah. Do you want to finish it up? Mm-hmm. So today... We're going to be taking a look inside of Suffer's newest sketchbook. Yep, she just finished it a month ago. So let's take a look at it. Did I do well? Yeah, you did great. Ha, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, so thank you to Fluffsuff for helping out with the intro of the video. That was very nice of her. She usually helps me out behind the scenes sometimes, but today she wanted to, to help recording as well, so. Thank you for that, Fluff Stuff. Now let's get into the sketchbook. So, this sketchbook I completed in December of 2018, and uh, I started it in August of 2017, so it took me a year and a half, approximately, to finish it, which uh, is a long time, but in the grand scheme of stuff sketchbooks, it's actually the fastest that I've ever filled out a sketchbook. And it's, a, it's also like the only sketchbook that I started and then worked in until it was done because usually I, I just have a bunch of sketchbooks that I go back and forth between. Uh, but this one, I only really had this one and then one other one. <laughs> and then actually one other one as well at the same time. Okay, never mind. But this is the first time that I've like filled out a sketchbook from start to end within a fairly short amount of time. So I'm excited about that. So here we have some ladies with some gradient hair. This was for a YouTube video. And a lot of the stuff in here is actually just sketches and stuff for YouTube. So I'm not going to link all of the videos in the card because I would run out of space. I'm just going to link some of them. But you can, of course, you can go and find them all on my channel if you want to. So this is from when I did my collab with Casey. She gave me two prompt words to create a character off of and it was bubblegum and snake. So these are the sketches for that. I ended up going with this kind of Medusa girl who was blowing some bubblegum. Yeah, this is a left hand drawn. I am right handed, if you don't know. But I do like to draw with my left hand sometimes. I think it's fun. Here's some more left hand drawings. And here are some magical girl flower sacks. And you can barely see them. And I'm really sorry about that. I wonder if I can... I'd actually just started at the animation workshop when I started the sketchbook as well. And I heard rumors that we had to do an assignment with a flower sack, but I didn't know what the assignment was about. So I figured if I could do whatever I wanted to, I was going to do a magical girl flower sack. Sadly, it was a very specific assignment with, uh, with very specific rules. So I never got to do the magical girl flower sack, but it's here for all of your viewing pleasure. Here's some lists. I do have a lot of notes and lists in this sketchbook. And I, yes, this is when Inktober of 2017 started, I do believe. So these are just some sketches and thumbnails for that. Here's my uh, borrower girl. That's a very hard word for me to say. I, I am a Danish person, so when I speak, it does sound like I have a potato in my mouth. So excuse me. But this is my uh, character that I created in Inktober of 2017. And the cool thing about her is that I used her actually as the character when I did my clay sculpting course at school last year. Uh, I will put pictures right here so you can see what that's all about. So I created a statuette of this character basically. And this was the first time that I really sculpted like a, an actual character in clay. So I was really excited about that. And I feel like it turned out pretty good, like, uh, you know, considering. So that's real cool. Some more Inktober thumbnails. Some more Inktober thumbnails. And this is Sersha from Song of the Sea. If you haven't seen it, it's a very cute 2D animated movie. Um, but we had to animate her for an animation assignment. And I was having a really hard time drawing her. I think, looking back, I was probably more having a hard time with the animation. Uh, <laughs> 
but I was also, she was just a struggle for me. So this was my mental breakdown about not being able to do that assignment very well. Here's some more Inktober thumbnails, more Inktober stuff, some animation feedback notes, I think. And these are some character designs for the digital painting course that we had in the first year. And I think this is kind of what I ended up going with. I do have that as a video on my channel. It's called something uh, monster digital painting. I don't, guys, I don't remember what I titled my videos. And here's some uh, witch characters. Yes, some uh, Gravity Falls Journal 3 stuff. Just planning out the pages so I can cross them off after I do them. Here are some <laughs> blow pen swatches. Mm -hmm. And here are some thumbnails for our first design course that we had with Lawrence Marvitt, who is a very special man, but he is, in my opinion, at least he's a very good teacher. It took me a bit to, uh, to come to that realization and appreciate him, but now I do. He has taught me a lot. Here's some <laughs> doodles of me and some doodles of Connor from Dear Evan Hansen. This was my uh, Dear Evan Hansen face, I do believe. And here's some more Connor doodles. And I really like these ones with the marker. I just went straight in with the marker, as you can probably tell. So they're a bit messy, but that makes them more loose. And I kind of, I like how that looks. I did that a lot in the sketchbook, actually. Maybe I should do that some more. Um, but I really like this one. I really think it captured Connor well. And here's some very ugh, gross doodles of me. Here are some thumbnails. These are actually from my first scrawler box video that I did. I guess it's been a year now. Actually more than a year. Huh. Time flies by, huh? And this is me and my friend from New Year's of 2017. Here's some more sketches for YouTube videos. Here's some doodles of Pitch from Voltron. She's my favorite character from Voltron. Here's some more doodles. This is from my favorite character mashup where I created a character that was based on a bunch of my favorite characters. Here are some character designs, I think, for the gangster girl scene that one of my classmates, she was doing. So basically, you guys have been telling me that I have same face syndrome. And some of my uh, some of my classmates have also been telling me that, so maybe I should uh, look into that. Maybe make a video about it. Who knows? Some doodles, and this one turned out kind of gross. Let's not talk about that one. Some Muffet from Undertale, and she's so cute. I really love her character design, and I love to draw her. If you haven't played Undertale, I highly recommend it. These are some more scrawly box doodles. I did this one when we were doing our short short project at the animation workshop and some of my friends were in this group where they were doing this uh, really cute thing with this character and I love him so I decided to draw some fan art of him. Here are some sketches for my magical girl persona. Is that a thing? A, ma a magical girl Sona? Yes, this one. It's me. It's, yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> And this is for my using all my red art supplies video. Here are some more scrawly box stuff. And this, ooh, this is when I went to London with my friend. Actually, you can, uh, if, if you haven't seen it already, you can go to my second channel. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. And I vlogged my whole trip to London, actually. So go check that out if you're interested. I also have some, other vacation vlogs on there but we went to see Wicked and it was amazing I love Wicked so much it's I think it's my favorite musical by now so I had to just draw some fan arts when we came back from Wicked and I didn't have a green I did not bring a green with me which was a disaster but luckily my friend had just bought a green highlighter so she lent it to me so that I could draw some green alphaba which was nice. And then I drew some more Wicket when I came home. Here's some more thumbnailing, sketching. And this is just <laughs> me filling up a page with pencil drawings. I've been using a lot of marker in this sketchbook. And then I guess I just decided to go back to pencil one day and I was like, I really like the way that this turned out. And I think I stayed with the pencil for the rest of the sketchbook. Uh, and I'm currently also using pencil. I do tend to flip-flop between different mediums. 
and then I use that one medium for a really long time until I get sick of it, and then I flip back to another medium. So yeah, this is just me trying to, you know, draw some stuff, trying to not just draw, you know, the, the classic head with shoulders. I do have some of those in here, but I tried to draw, you know, more torsos and stuff like that. Here's some more notes, some Phineas, because it's been a really long time since I drew anything Phineas and Ferb related, which we can't have that. Uh, more notes. Ooh, and this was when, let me see if I can angle it for you. No, nope. mm. unfortunately, I think this is the best I can do. Uh, they, I, hmm. they do have pretty good contrast. You just can't see it because of the stupid lights. I'm looking into upgrading my lighting situation, but, this is when I started drawing Glee characters because I wanted to kind of experiment with my style and see if I could capture likenesses of real life people and just kind of study. It's always a good idea to study from real life. So I started out with Rachel Berry and at first I drew her just from my mind, which is not very good. It doesn't look like her at all. Then I got a reference and I drew her a couple more times and you can see by the time that I had kind of drawn her, some sometimes it started to look like her and it actually started looking pretty good so i was really excited about that i really like this one and this one and also kind of this one and that one this one is real bad don't look at that one um but this was a very interesting thing for me to do because it really taught me a lot about my style and like how to draw different things in my style and how to make different characteristics for people i guess in my style so that was very helpful. I also drew Finn and Kurt. I didn't really get Finn. I have a, um, I can't really draw male characters that well. I think this is the closest I got to Finn. And for Kurt, this or this is probably the closest. This was the first one I did. I think that might be the best one. The one that looks the most like him at least. Here are some more thumbnails for this time it's Inktober 2018. Ooh, more thumbnails, more thumbnails. I never finished Inktober of 2018. And I thought that I was gonna go back and do it, but now I don't know anymore because now it's 2019. So should I really be stuck doing Inktober of last year or should I just give up? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Here are some Fiero doodles and some Elphaba doodles. I was trying to figure out a way to draw Fiero because I really wanted to draw him with long hair. If you've seen my uh, the video where I, I draw them together, you'll have heard all of this before, but I wanted to draw him with long hair and that just kind of makes him look like Elphaba because he has a chiseled face with long curly hair and so does Elphaba. Um, so I was trying to figure out how to make them look different. And then I drew this one. This is totally unrelated to, to everything, but I drew this one from reference and I was like, wow, this one looks so nice. I should draw stuff from reference more often because it really does make my art nicer. <laughs> Here's some Haley Williams that do not do her justice at all. Here are some derpy Eevees uh, from an animation that I'm making. And I think I might make a video about that. So let me know if you're excited about animation stuff. Here are some concepts for a story. They're probably gonna have to be redone. This was just, I just wanted to try something. Don't like it. I'll redo it. Here are some drawings with, you know, like solid shadow. I think I should work more on this because I see sometimes I see people doing like solid shadow in one color and it looks so cool. So I wanted to do that, but I'm not very good at it. So <laughs> this is the result. And then I wanted to try and do a study of my own face. It doesn't really look like me that well. I was sitting pretty far away from the mirror, so I couldn't really see any detail. So I just kind of tried to get the shadows down. It looks kind of weird, you know, like uncanny valley. But I want to try to do more semi-realism to study how shadows behave. So that's a thing that I'm going to be doing in the future. Here's some Spider-Verse stuff. I did a video where I drew Gwen and Gwen and Miles. Yeah. So I just wanted to kind of study them before I jumped into the actual video. And here is 
Finn and Rachel from Glee because they saw this really cute picture where they're dancing together and Finn is like real big and Rachel's really small and it looked really cute with the really big and really small so I wanted to draw it but I didn't manage to to nail it very well. He's all, he also doesn't look that much taller than her in this drawing so I got really meh, whatever so I just wrote the lyric to the song uh, to fill out the page. So over here we have Joyce, who is a character that I created because one day I was like, I want to draw, but I don't know what to draw and I'm tired of trying to come up with things to draw. So if I create some characters, then maybe I can just focus on drawing those characters. So I did. So this is Joyce. She works in a flower shop and she says she's in her late 20s, but I think she's more like 30 something. She looks a bit young here. I ended up making her look a bit older. This is kind of what her finished design ended up being. I tried out some different things, didn't really like this. So this is kind of what I'm going for. So I drew a couple of drawings of her. And then I wanted to draw another person who would be working at this flower shop, a coworker or assistant for her. I think it's her flower shop, like she owns it. And then this guy works there too. So I drew some concepts for him, but I wanted to make him look a bit younger because I want him to be university student be a university student and his name is Jamie he's very shy keeps to himself for the most part and here are some sketches of Jamie and here are some drawing some 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 drawing of them together that I colored with my watercolors because I wanted to try that it made the paper buckle so I don't know how I feel about that but maybe it's okay I tend to be the kind of person who's like mm, I don't want to ruin my sketchbook but really, who cares, right? I should be more loose with stuff like that. And then finally, I wanted to draw a, a bigger drawing so I could focus more on details because I usually draw like very small things. So I wanted to just fill a page with Joyce. Um, <laughs> she has some weird thing going on with her neck here, but I feel like that's a general tendency of my art. So moving on. Here's the final page and it says thank you for looking for my sketchbook and then it's a happy drawing of me and this is very heavily inspired by drawing with waffles because she does these beautiful first pages in her sketchbooks where mm, it's so good. There's this one in particular where she has a drawing of her character Maple in gray and then she has these like beautiful doodles like poo 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 poofing off to the side in this kind of manner so I uh I kind of took some inspiration in that and made my own version. And I actually also, the you know, the first page that you saw in the beginning of the sketchbook, I drew that at the same time. I did not draw this when I started the sketchbook. I left it blank because I was afraid to mess it up. So I went back, uh, when I was done with the whole sketchbook, I went back and did this. So this is actually the last thing that was done in the sketchbook. But that about does it for this video. This is probably my favorite sketchbook that I have currently. I really like a lot of the drawings in here. And I have started a new sketchbook of the same type. I will see if I can finish that one soon. Uh, let's hope. But if you guys would like to see other sketchbook videos in the meanwhile, I do have some old ones, some very old ones that we can tap into if you want to see that. So let me know about that in the comments down below. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye.